Your heart needs to be strong to keep up. Flora, for a strong heart today. Welcome back. Patricia Lewis is an unlikely candidate for someone with high cholesterol. So you can imagine her surprise at discovering that she was one of the many South Africans who have raised cholesterol. You see, there are no symptoms and no way of knowing we have high cholesterol other than testing for it. I suggested you make it part of your New Year's resolution, but if that's not something you can do in the foreseeable future for whatever reason, then at least employ some lifestyle changes that can lower your cholesterol on the off chance that yours is high. Who here actually knows what their cholesterol level is? Someone put up your hand. Okay, one person. Wow. Statistically, shock. <laughs> so the first of those is to lose weight. Losing as little as 5% of your body weight can help significantly reduce cholesterol levels. Eat heart-healthy foods. It's never too late to start, and by that I mean eat healthy fats and eliminate trans fats. Get in whole grains, more fruits and veggies, which are rich in dietary fiber and can help lower cholesterol, and eat foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which can help lower your bad cholesterol, that LDL. Exercise can help raise your good cholesterol, HDL. So aim for 30 minutes most days of the week. And finally, if you smoke, stop. Quitting may improve your HDL cholesterol level, but the benefits don't end there. Just 20 minutes after quitting, 20 minutes, your blood pressure decreases. Within 24 hours, your risk of a heart attack decreases. Within one year, your risk of heart disease is half that of a non-smoker. Those lifestyle adjustments will go a long way to helping you keep your cholesterol in check. It's worked for Patricia, and it'll work for you too. Patricia Lewis, South Africa's blonde bombshell, built on a successful music career with a hit TV show and then took some time off to focus on her health. Now she's back in shape and back in business. So, Patricia, it is great to have you in studio. Uh, Hello, Michael Moore. You are Moore. looking amazing. I've got Thank to tell you this. You I, dis too. I disagree with Max, your son, who oh, said, my, son. my mom's a chubby mommy. You are anything but a chubby mommy. Chubba mama. Chubba mama. In the fact, word. stand up quickly. You might, let's oh, show, us, show us what you've done. I've recently lost 10 kilos, wow. ladies and gentlemen. Yes, wow. you can get look at that. that. Yeah, that's <laughs> just... Gym clothes, okay, and I'm, it's, I've just released a DVD, it's gymming and it's dancing. So my gym clothes are on and my dancing clothes are also on, okay? I told you there was a reason why I look this ridiculous. Okay, let's carry on. <laughs> Trisha, you've done very, very well. But I mean, it, it, a year, a year and a half ago, two years ago, you weren't <laughs> like this. You picked up... How many kilograms? I mean, that was an issue. 10 kilos, you. yes. You know, when I, when I turned 40, I was um, uh, 53 kilos almost all my life. Yeah. Uh, never had a weight problem, naturally thin. If there is something like that, I don't mm. know. But when I turned 40, things changed. And uh, within a year, I tell you, I put on 10 kilos. Yeah. I didn't know what was going on. I ran 1,000 kilometers on the treadmill. I starved myself <laughs> and nothing would budge. That scale was stuck, I tell yeah. you. And, and it was rising and I was getting very wide. And I thought, oh, what's going on? And then I had some blood tests done and they, they found I'm carbohydrate sensitive and insulin resistant and my husband says a bit of mental problems yeah. added in as well. So to cut another long story short, it took me quite a few years to actually find out what to do, how to do, when to do, why to do. Okay. And eventually I lost that 10 kilos. It was a battle, but uh, nothing in life comes without a, no a good fight. And man, I was ready for this fight because I was tired. You invited me onto this show about a year and a half That's ago right. and I said, thank you so much, but no. Yeah. And I said no to everything. I'd, I was out of the public eye for like two and a half years because I was so overweight. When I saw a camera, I ran the other way. <laughs> I think there's a handful of pictures of me, uh, 10 kilos heavier. But you what? know what? So Maybe it was meant for me to be this, you know, to go through my journey, <laughs> that I could release this DVD and actually help the people out there because I don't know, a lot of people struggle and they don't know why. So let's talk sure. about that. I just want to get in one word edgeways oh, so quickly. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to take over. No, no, that's fantastic. I mean, you've lost the weight. You put on the weight, you've lost the weight. And mm. We want to know how you did that. And okay. I know, and you were the first one to say, I'm not medical, and so, you know, don't take my word for it, but this is your experience. Yes. It's anecdotal. How did you do it? Patricia? Right. The DVD is all about my experiences. It's basically okay. three most important things that I did to lose the weight. The most Brilliant. important was I got blood tests and I found out what is wrong, first okay. of all. Good. Then it was found out carbohydrate sensitivity, insulin resistance, high cholesterol, all those uh, unactive thyroid. Maybe before we go there, let's just talk about carbohydrate resistance. So let me just explain to the audience. Carbohydrate resistance, 
simply means that the sugars and starches in your diet are not tolerated as well by your body as they should be, and it leads to a condition known as pre-diabetes, which can eventually lead to an irreversible and universally fatal condition known as type 2 diabetes. Of course, the good oh, news, Patricia, goodness. and you need to know this, is that uh, pre-diabetes is reversible, unlike diabetes, which is a diagnosis for life, wow. and you can prevent the progression to type 2 diabetes by simply becoming more active, losing some weight, eating a healthy diet, and even sleeping sufficiently, something we should all be doing anyway. But let's get back to what you did. What so I blood did. test, you figured yes. out what was wrong. What was first. wrong. And then based on that, I had a doctor that worked out, you know, what food I should eat, what I should avoid, when I should eat, how much I should eat. So I've been weighing my food. I've been eating three meals a day with five hour intervals, works like a bomb. Wow. Okay. Um, I mean, you have to eat to be slim. Yeah. Let me say that again. You have to eat to be slim. That's Who knew very true. that? Yeah. I starved myself and I thought, oh, I was... I love food. I love food. I love breads. I love sweets. I love all that stuff. So when they said to me, you have to eat to be thin, because I'd been starving yeah. myself for the last few years, and nothing worked. And the problem with starving yourself is your body's going, wow, I'm getting no food, so I've got to it hold stores. on to everything. It stores. Yes. Yeah, and that's the last thing you want. You don't want to store. Yeah, you exactly. want to burn. You see, I'm blonde. I didn't know these things. Eventually, <laughs> I found it out, <laughs> okay. but I'm so happy. So you anyway. did your blood test, and yes. you, you basically eat to lose weight. Eating. You started slim. Fantastic, but that's eating properly. Right. Yeah. Eating correctly. And I think as as importantly as eating correctly, you need to bring a little bit of exercise back into your life. Why? Because it lets the blood flow, you feel better, um, apparently it, it helps with aging, ladies. Yeah. We all need a, all the help we can get, I know I do. And let's touch on your diet again to come back to that, your mm. carbohydrate resistance. So you've got yeah. to watch the carbs that you oh. eat. Gosh. How are you eating now? A lot of protein, high fat, yeah. I mean, is it the Tim Noakes diet that works for you? Or? Protein, lots of fruit, lots of veggies, lots of um, seeds, omega oils, basically a balanced diet. A person's plate, and I have a picture, All it's all explained on the DVD, a, a person's plate has to have lots of different things, a little bit of, little bit of carbs, of protein, which is either your nuts or your fish or your chicken, uh, veggies and a fruit and seeds and your omega oil and of course water. So it's once yep. again a balanced diet. Everyone says, well, it's a balanced diet. I used to think a balanced diet was chocolate and a fruit. I'm balanced. <laughs> it's not a balanced diet. So now I really have a balanced diet. You know what I'm loving about what you're saying here, Patricia, is we know that you're not medical. But you've gone, <laughs> That's for sure. but you've gone and educated yourself. And you've learned and you've read up and you now know what works for you and it does work. I mean, you're the living proof of that. Oh. And I think that is fantastic. So I have muscles again. That. Look, feel. That May he feel, honey. <laughs> Which other muscles? Oh, no, okay. I won't say that. <laughs> oh, no, but I and have to hard, tell you as well, there, huh? he said that he couldn't believe that I've lost 10 kilos. Anyway, I, I'm top heavy and I put on weight top heavy. I mean, you know, everybody's different. And I was just saying to him, listen, you wouldn't have recognized me. I didn't look like Dolly Parton. I looked like Dolly Parton's mother. I mean, you can imagine what that must have been. <laughs> no, I'm trying to get the image out of my mind, but you say, you know. So. Anyway. Okay, so let's, let's talk best health lessons. I mean, we've had a lot of discussion, you know, just in the last few moments. Mm -hmm. Try and put that in a nutshell. What, what's, what's your number one health lesson that you learned? The one lesson that you, that you would impart in a tweet. If all you could give us was a tweet, a what tweet. would that tweet be? Oh, my gosh. Self-happiness. To be happy within yourself and then you can really go out there and do anything. And I'm so lucky I have a fabulous husband and the most gorgeous child, so I'm automatically happy. And when you're thin, you're even happier. Believe me. And then you can face the world. I got my life back. For two and a half years, I ran away from people. I didn't want to see anybody. I didn't do any work. I got my life back. And we are so happy that you are back. Patricia, thank, thank you. you, man. Well, well done. Huh? What a difference. Your heart needs to be strong to keep up. Flora, for a strong heart today. I want to live the best life.